in that Pimp C song about the white girl is the right girl and all this talk about the white girl pretty much being in the car and the black girl pushing the car. Yeah, but a black bitch, you know what I'm saying, man, she can push the car, you know what I'm saying, with me and that white hole in there, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man, I ain't trying to doubt. I'm going to be out there and well, I hear his story and, and it's like, man, uh, what is it? White girl gonna get it, get it, get it. Black girl is not gonna be with it. The black bitch and the white bitch, you understand me? The white bitch is gonna get it, get it, get it. And the, and the black bitch is gonna not be with it. You, know you well, said that. Well, you know, you know, <laughs> hey, you know, Rome, Rome had the convertible Benz, right? He had, he had that convertible Benz and that Bentley back then. So if he would have put a black bitch in that Bentley, the oil light would have came on and said, change the bitch. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I mean, you know, of course, the 17, the 17 hoes, the white girls, mm -hmm. which you, I'm gonna be honest with you, I, I heard you asking questions earlier, but I thought about what you said in your, in that Pimp C song about the white girl is the right girl and all this talk about the white girl pretty much being in the car and the black girl pushing the car. Yeah, but a black bitch, you know what I'm saying, I mean, she can push the car, you know what I'm saying, with me and that white hole in there, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man, I ain't trying to doubt. I'm going to be out there and well, I hear his story. And, and it's like, man, uh, what is it? White girl going to get it, get it, get it. Black girl is not going to be with it. The black bitch and the white bitch, you understand me? The white bitch is going to get it, get it, get it. And the, and the black bitch is going to not be with it. You, know? you well, said that. Well, you know, you know. <laughs> Hey, you know, Rome, Rome had the convertible Benz, right? He had, he had that convertible Benz and that Bentley back then. So if he would have put a black bitch in that Bentley, the oil light would have came on and said, change the bitch. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> right, right. Say, so, I mean, what made you really just, was it that the white girls was easier to deal with? Or was it? Well, I mean, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't so much as that. I mean, it just, I, I mean... You know, like I say, I I, I I mean, I just attracted, I just attracted more more uh, white 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 girls or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Why but, did you attract more white girls? Well, I mean, I mean I'm trying it, to figure that out. Like, well, I, it, I, I I can tell you why. Because well, he, he he didn't have the Jerry curl. He didn't have the the braids. He wasn't sagging. You know, he wore you know Gucci and right. You know, right. he looked he looked the part. You know, white right. girls. You know, they they, they you know. They, they like that shit, you know what I'm saying? They like a, a classic. Right. You know, they want to be with a black man. Oh, anyway. he was white collar. Well, he yeah. wasn't white collar. He, was, he just dressed extremely nice, and and, and right. he didn't look like you know he had a he low fade like you got, not like I got. Kip you know what I'm real. saying? You know, right. wore, wore expensive clothes. You know, you you see him walking, you can see the red up on the feet like he stepped on somebody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he was always you know the distinguished gentleman. I think that that's. Would distinguish, you know, the, the the black bitch from the white bitch. You know, the black bitch, she wants the nigga with the tattoos on his face, with the right. gun hanging out. You know, with right. driving crazy on the track and shit. You know, she right. attracted to that. But you know, white girls, you know, at some point, once they realize their value, and they start going into the hill and they start going to the crown plaza, they start making real money. They know that they can't have that type of dude and really, you know, keep doing what they're doing unless they just ghetto fabulous. Right. Wow. Wow, what and, and what's what's your take on it? What 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 made well, you the, the, that that guy? Man, you know what? I never really I I never really put the two on the ten about it, man. I just was, you know, like I say, I just wanted I set out, you know, I set out to do what I was gonna do, but I wanted to be the best at what I did. Wow. And, and uh you know, like I say, you know, uh, I mean the majority of them of, of them white girls wasn't white girls. Some of them white girls was from England with broken ain't Broken English and shit, you know what I'm saying? Wow. So, uh, so he, he, hey, he didn't only have the foreign car; he had the yeah, yeah, foreign yeah, policy yeah. on the bitch too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I had, I had, I had, I had, I had, I had a mixture, man. It ain't like they all was just white girls, you know. I had a mixture. I had, you know, Asian, and, Asian, and, uh, Cajun, Malaysian, you know, Persuasian, Puerto Rican, you know. So yeah, you know, I had it all, man. Man, so all man, what, what, what was, what was the most you made in one night? Well, I tell you this, on a good night for me, one night about eleven, twelve thousand. Bad night about six or seven thousand. So you was upset on every, that six or seven thousand night. Well, I mean, like, ah, dang, I got should have did better than this. Well, I mean, not not so much as that because I know they gonna they gonna try to get, they gonna try to reach back and make up for what they what they came short on. You know? But he was spending forty thousand a month just in expenses. Tell them yeah. what you made them girls do. Well, we sit down, man, in my penthouse joint, man, one day. I said, hey, okay, I, got, I, I went and got a bunch of little notepads, passed them out to everybody. And what I want to do is write down 
every expense that's going out the door. You know what I'm saying? Regardless if it's nails, phone, hair, car note, rent, whatever. But I had them write everything down. I'm talking about everything, every expense. And we totaled it all up at at the end of that, and it, it all came to about forty three thousand. Wow! And that's what I was spending each month. Forty three thousand. Oh, was, so, give me something. Living, what was that the was things, a living budget? You know, what, what was I mean? some of the things that you was buying though? I mean, that some well, of the see, higher expenses. Well, see, you know, my girls had. You know, you probably didn't even know this, but my girls they had they had their own homes, man. They had two hundred fifty, three hundred thousand dollar homes in their name by themselves. I mean, that that I got, that I had. Them you made in. sure that it was yeah, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So and then, of course, you know they had top of the line vehicles and whatnot. You know they was they was well taken care. Of, you know. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.